world famous landmarks and notable figures with a playful twist. These are the creations of 28 year old Rich McCor. He posts his work on the photo app Instagram under the name Paper Boya with over 100,000 followers so far. I joined Instagram, but then I realised I was taking the same photos as everyone else of London, so the London Eye, Big Ben, Buckingham Palace and all that. And I wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, take some different photos. So that's when I, I had the idea of doing a wrist, turning Big Ben into a wristwatch. And that was the first one, and it sort of went from there. For Rich, who moved to London for work in 2009, photography is just a hobby. But as his work gains in popularity thanks to social media, he's hoping to make it more full time. He gets his ideas from stories he hears about town. So some of the some of the cutouts are based on little facts, quirky stories or facts about the location. And some of them just have nothing to do with it at all. It just looks like a funny thing, like the Lego man over the Arc de Triomphe. I chose the stories because I wanted to add a different layer to the photos. So Certainly in London, like when I was going around taking these photos, I was learning all these facts about London that I didn't know about, so I wanted to add them to when I posted the photos. Rich doesn't work out of a studio, but prepares and posts his photos wherever he can find a space for his mobile office. His cutouts may seem simple, but it's his attention to detail which give them a unique quality. I post my stuff on Instagram because I think it's just the best place to share photos because people scroll through really quick, through it quickly, and you know, I, hopefully my photos stand out because they're a little bit different because of the cutouts. The feedback's been good; it's been great. That you get a few people to say, "Oh, why don't you take your hands out or use string or something like that?" But I kind of think the hand is my signature, and I don't really have time to play around with string and stuff like that, so I'm just going to keep on doing it with my hands. <laughs> In an ever more connected world, social media has played an important role in getting Rich's photos recognized. After the travel publication Lonely Planet discovered Rich McCor, they contacted him for a collaboration with their kids' travel section. We just thought that it it's so clever but so simple and it's just one way in which reimagines already very famous and iconic sites and we just think it really jumps out and there's a playfulness about it. And we followed him straight away and then we moulded over and then it just came into our minds that perhaps Lonely Planet Kids would be a great fit for it um, because of the, the, the playfulness of it all. Another social media site that caught on to Rich's photos was the travel app Great Little Place. The site posted just one of Rich's photos on their Facebook page. It was then seen by a million people. Many would think that uh, social media today is very ephemeral, but I would disagree. Um, in, in some cases, like in Rich's case, I think if he sustains that level of quality and that level of uh, originality and everything that he does, uh, then I definitely think that he'll he'll go very far. I think my style of the photos is, is only based on one idea, but it's an idea that can be executed quite a few number of times and in different ways. So I'm always sort of looking for new concepts and places and architecture. So I think there's still a little bit of life in it. And by adding the stories as well and the facts, it just adds another dimension to it and makes it a little bit more interesting. The more photos that Rich posts on Instagram, the greater the following. The current number stands at just over 100,000. His next big goal is to add some new perspective to the Summer Olympic Games in Brazil, but until then, he'll keep reimagining Europe's major sites.